can't be a chairperson for uh, Chinese and missionary schools at fair coordinating committee. How do you say it in Chinese? In the annual budget, the state government always allocated about 12 million <coughs> for education. Means for uh, Chinese school, for secondary independent school, and uh, scholar rayat and uh, and missionary schools. Though these are the national tap school, which they do not receive uh, regular funding from, especially the for development from the uh, federal government. Uh, in fact, education is under federal government. But since federal government did not have neglected so many all these kind of, these type of schools, so the Pakatan uh, Raya um, State Government thing, uh, we will give them some assistance, even though it is not the responsibility of the state. The uh, Tuchong, the state government allocated two hundred thousand for five Tuchong, yeah, for five in, uh, Chinese independent schools, secondary schools. So uh, divided equally is four hundred thousand yeah. per school, which is a um, huge amount because formerly the most they receive is about uh, thirty thousand, forty thousand, or um, fifty thousand. The most is fifty thousand. If near the election year, then is fifty thousand. But now we are giving four hundred thousand. Besides Zhuzhong, for example, if a Chinese primary school, for years, they, some of them cannot get uh, funding. So now, if they need it, they can apply, they will get. This year, we, we emphasized on uh, toilets. If they want to upgrade their toilets, uh, they were in uh, our priority list. If there is a leakage or there is a, a buildings are becoming dangerous and they want to rebuild it, then we will give them uh, more fundings. They will become the priorities. Pei Chai in, uh, in Batu Fringi is a small school. Yeah. Then the, uh, the board of writers thinks they want to rebuild it because it's a very, uh, very um, old and simple school. And because of that, some of the parents don't want to send their children to that kind of school. They want to send their children to a better school. So they will have to come to uh, Tanjung Munga or even come to the town which is quite far away. <coughs> so they, uh, they started to raise funds. They are trying to do that much earlier, during the Barisan time. And this Batu Fringi is under uh, Tan Sri Kosukun's uh, constituency. But they were not able to solve the problem of the land. So he went to talk to this developer who is his friend, and he finally agreed. And uh, they uh, they completed the school already and they have a very nice school now and the enrollment to the school immediately increased it's not something that so difficult to do for the school you know allocation for school is all depends on whether you want to do it or not the political will it's the political will huh? with the state allocation they repair the toilet they upgrade their canteen they upgrade their classroom uh, help them to build part of their schools. If they are in a, in in a, in area like in in more town area, then uh, in a richer community, they can raise the fund uh, more easily. Compared to those schools uh, in the rural area, far away, and you don't have uh, many um, many parents to help to raise the fund, then raising fund is very difficult for them. So you have to have uh, a lot of consideration. And not just you know given equally, you have to consider whether uh, their facilities is uh, what is the conditions. If those who are uh, in a, in an unsafe condition, of course you have to give them priority. If they are in an urgent need, for example, if a roof is leaking, then you want to uh, give them the priority. Yangzhen is a special case. As you see, their their land is so small. No, less than one acre. So when they ask land from the uh, state, state consider that finally decided to give them the piece of land because we think they really need the land. That is 4.5 acre. 
compared to less than one acre. Federal government has a regulation. When you when uh, you want to develop certain area, and it exceeds how many uh, uh, acre, then you have to give land for school. Yeah. But this kind of uh, land reserve for school is always only for national school. It's never for Tamil school or missionary school or Chinese primary school or, or, or Skola Raya. <clears throat> Which we think we should uh, consider the needs of the area. If the area needs a Chinese school, then we should be able to use the land for Chinese school. Or it needs a Tamil school, then they should build the Tamil school. So the uh, government is the government is working with the uh, developer for the developer to transfer their land for school to the uh, state government and the government state government can decide what land this piece of land can be what type of schools for example the uh, SRJKC Yihua in town in Georgetown it's a very small school, but this school is very special. About more than half of the students are OKU. That means they are, they are disabled, certain kind of disabled, disability, eh? or a slow learner. And they need wider space. So we, uh, we think it's important. Very few schools have facilities or, or have facilities for disabled or learning disorder. Uh, students so that they can uh, build a bigger uh, space so that they can take in more students uh, so that even the uh, OKU, even the disabled students have a better opportunity in education. You know, after we, uh, we uh, annually we give money funding to schools, now we see that the federal government are actually also giving money to school now. For the first time, for the first time in so many years of BN governing, for the first time they have allocated 100 million for Chinese school, for missionary school. You never see Chinese school or missionary school appear in budget, never. To me, I feel they should give the money like the Penning State Government where you must allocate annually and according to the needs and you give out the money. No oppositions, there is no check and balance at all. What you need is to, to elect more Pakatan uh, uh, candidates so that even if you cannot change the government, if you have a stronger opposition, it will help a lot. You need to have, you have to work towards two collision system. Uh, no collision can think that they are the king, they don't have to think about uh, people stealing, they don't have to think about people, they just have to take care of the cronies, use all the state's resources. I think it's high time Sabah go for a change. Hello,现在我们是在杨正学校 要重复的这一个表格，然后这个很清楚的显示到，新一二零一一年，宾州政府已经准许批注一块四点五五英亩的附近地皮重做养正学校新校地。好，去消防通路呢，除了每一年的的的制度性的拨款，州政府也给他们